Do you I respect guess. everyone? Do I respect everyone? Everyone. Listen, because you got in here some kind of way. You know, when you walk out, many people still try to... I went to sleep here with a cuff over my head. When I woke up, CDs fell off me, fam. A nigga put CDs on me while I was asleep on the plane. Now, no disrespect, I got a MacBook. It don't even got a CD thing in it. I got a fucking... I don't Rolls have a CD Royce, player in my house. This motherfucker, boom, boom, yeah. boom. You know what I'm saying? Even the seven don't even got an aux cord. Yeah. So <laughs> we still dealing with the the, the transition. The, the transition. Yeah. 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 Uh, do you do you do you do you, 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 do you give somebody a thumb drive, which I'm not gonna load up in my computer? Is it so? And I'm not comfortable with receiving music because a lot of us younger brothers, we kind of have the same similar thinking pattern. You know, Gucci mm. chains, whatever. So if you got a song called. Gucci chain, whatever the hell it is, then, yeah. and I have a similar song. And you think I bit your your demo or something like that? So let's let's be clear. Okay. I've rarely, you know, even listened to. You would think this shit would be common sense, but I don't know why I'm scratching my ear, nigga. Like I can. You would think this shit would be common sense with niggas, but y'all, for some reason, I scratch my face too. I'm trying to do an intro, and that just. Come on, let's go. My ducks. My swans, welcome to the pond. My name is Dorian from group82music.com and right here we got 2 Chains talking about why he doesn't accept CDs from you random independent artists. To continue on with the intro that I fucked up, you would think that this would be common sense to niggas, but it's not. And that's why we gotta make videos like these because y'all still think that if you hand somebody a CD, you hand somebody a thumb drive, you cold email somebody, you DM somebody your link, you put your link in the comments and someone is going to listen to your shit and they're going to sign you. It doesn't fucking work like that. A, no one has time to really click or listen to that shit. It's number one. Number two, if they do click and listen to that shit, if they make anything that's even remotely similar to what you have sent them and you can prove that you sent it to them, now you have a case against them in court where you could possibly take some of their publishing, some of their royalties. You can sue them for some shit that might sound similar or talk about similar things in the link that you sent them. The story about J. Cole and Jay-Z is extremely popular now. Basically, this was 2007, 2008. Jay-Z was preparing to make American Gangster. J. Cole had just graduated from St. John's. He was working as like a newspaper advertised telemarketer, bill collector, one of them bullshit ass jobs. And he was on a rap blog. So he read that Jay-Z was making American Gangster. And he was going to be in a studio that night or some shit. I don't know. So J. Cole went home to Muhammad's crib and he made a beat. And he got drunk with his manager, Eve, and they took the train and they waited in front of studios. I think it was Baseline. And they waited and they waited and they waited and they waited and it was raining and it was cold and all this shit. And then the Phantom finally comes around. Jay-Z gets out. Cole's like, yeah, I made this for you. Jay-Z's like, give me that shit. Give it to one of them. And obviously Cole gave it to one of them. Might've been Ty Ty or Emery or somebody. That was the end of it. Jay-Z curved him. And a year later, he signed him. Okay. Why did Jay-Z curve him? It wasn't because J. Cole wasn't talented. Because J. Cole presented the shit wrong. That's not how you get on. And then Jay-Z can't take shit like that because that's how niggas get sued. Stop spamming niggas your links. Stop sending me your motherfucking music. Stop emailing that shit. No one wants to hear your music. You have to present it in the proper channel. Okay, duck, you say all this shit, you talking shit, blue shirt ass nigga. What's the proper channels? You build a brand. You post content on social media. You give people value. You consistently build an audience. And guess what? While you're doing that, your audience is gonna pay you. They're gonna stream your shit, they're gonna share your shit, they're gonna like your shit, they're gonna comment on your shit. They're gonna not like your shit. They're gonna hate your shit. They're gonna say your shit sucks. All that's engagement. All that gets you paid. All that pushes your content out. And then you know what starts happening? You start getting more followers, start getting more subscribers, and the people with blue checks start DMing you, start hitting you up, they start wanting to work with you, they start introducing you to people, they start coming onto your podcast, they start sharing your content, they get you in conversations with folks. 
And then if you want that opportunity to present your music to someone who can really make something happen for you in the industry, it's right there. How do I know? Because this shit has happened to me multiple times. But I want to stay independent because I'm not at the point yet where my brand is big enough where I can have the conversation with those people and I don't have to give up masters. I don't have to give up any ownership. But eventually when I get there, we'll see what that conversation is. I know everything I've been doing up to this point has got me in front of them. So I'm going to keep going. Because eventually my shit's going to get in front of Jay-Z. Going to get in front of Dre. It's going to get in front of all these people. And Ryan Leslie and all these people who I want to work with or talk to or at least have conversations with. And who knows what might happen. Them niggas might be assholes. I don't motherfucking know. But I know this. I know how to make my own money. I know how to connect with the ducks and the swans in the pond. Right? I know how to feed Nova without all this shit. I don't need a co-sign from any motherfucking body. I ain't got to stand in front of no studio. Please take my seat. I ain't got to do that. I ain't got to spam no links. You know why? Because I got y'all. And how do I get y'all? Because I give you value every single day. Multiple times a day. And I'm extremely grateful that y'all watch and share and like my videos. And it's the exact same thing you need to be doing. Because once you do that, you have the capital, the safety to leave your job. You're building your brand. And then that opportunity you've been waiting for is going to be a lot more realistic than you spam in somebody's comment sections or their DMs. If you want more advice like this, you need to book one of our one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. A lot of y'all keep hitting me up. Hey, man, can we rap? Yeah, we can rap, right? Click that link in the bio on Instagram, nigga. We can rap. Click that link in the description box. We can rap. Click that. Not only will I give you advice like this, I'll do a full digital brand analysis. We'll talk about everything you need to improve on, things you're already doing good, and how you can build your audience so you can present yourself correctly to the right people so you can start getting those opportunities if that's what you want. Or you can build a brand that's consistently getting you money so you ain't got to take no handout from no motherfucker. Is that what you want? Click the links. Or keep spamming niggas' comment sections to see how far that gets you. I'm out the pod. Y'all stay true. Snap her ass with no photos. Air full of cash, she already know. Bro, look mad when we on the flow. Praise the almighty, I lie. She praise to the mighty, I lie. Ain't think about wifey, uh-uh, uh-huh. Group82music.com.